diagrams show us where specific phases can be found according to the weight composition and the temperature. So, for example, if we were to ask what phase is found at a weight composition carbon of 1.5%, which is right here, and at a temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius, which is right here, you can see that only the austenite phase is found. However, if you wanted a more complicated question to find out what phases are present at 3.5% carbon at a temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius, it is a little bit more tricky. So first, to find the composition, this first we have to identify what phases comprise of this location. So this combines a phase of austenite and cementite right here. So to find the phase fraction of each of those specific phases, first we draw a line like this. And we divide the line up into two parts. Part like this, we'll just label it any variable you want. I'll just name it as Y. And this part over here, which I'll just label, label it as X. So to find the phase fraction of Austin side, we get, we get y over the total x plus y and whatever that fraction is is equal to the phase fraction of austin type and similarly if we wanted here i'll just write that down here austin tight phase fraction and similarly if we wanted to find the phase fraction of semen tight it would be x over x plus y which equals cementite phase fraction now i want you to think about that instead of just blindly following the equation so say the point was right over here right it's closer to the austenite phase right and then if this whole area like that was y and that was x y over x plus y would be closer to 1, so the phase fraction would be almost 100%. And doesn't that make sense since it's so close to austenite? Whereas if the point was over here, which is much closer to cementite, it would be this whole area, which is x over x plus y, which is closer to 1. So the phase fraction of cementite would be closer to 100%. And that makes sense because it is right by cementite. So just remember, to calculate the phase fraction of Austin side, you would have to get the part of the other side, y, over x plus y, as seen here. And then to calculate the phase fraction of semen side, you would have to get the other side, x, over x plus y, which equals semen side phase fraction. Now...